Welcome! Today we're going to learn about how to make a BRX Pro Dual Arch Bruxism Guard. And before I get started today, I wanted to mention a few of the unique features of the BRX Pro. First is the partial arch anterior design prevents the molars from coming into contact with each other and also creates an air gap. And that has been shown in the literature to reduce the amount of energy in bruxism and clenching during the night. Another unique feature is that the bruxism, the BRX Pro, is adjustable and it will accommodate a variety of class bites, um, uh, setting the mandible in a very natural and comfortable position. And three, because it is a dual arch design, we do support the mandible while the patient sleeps, uh, maintaining the integrity of the airway. So having said that, let's get started. Uh, included in the packaging of the BRX Pro are two sets of instructions, uh, one set for the prescriber and another set for the patient. And it's very important that the patient be sent home with the instructions when you make them a BRX Pro. Also in the packaging are several sets of trays. There's a set of impression trays and there's a set of therapy trays. And we're going to talk about each, the function of each, as we go through the training session. And for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the features of the impression tray. There's an upper and a lower. And the impression tray has a midline mark. If you can see there, there's a hash mark. And that just helps the prescriber line up the impression uh, in the centric position. Another feature is there's these slots. And these slots are filled with PVS material, which form a tab on the insert, and that secures the insert on the therapy tray. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this tray with PVS material. Uh, the material I like to use is called FlexiTime, and the reason that I like it is it's durable and it's easy to work with, um, especially when you see that we're going to be trimming these inserts up in just a moment and uh, this material just seems to be easy to work with, although we've tested several types of PVS material and they all seem to work well. Okay, so as you're filling up the tray, just be sure that you give a liberal amount because we want the PVS material to seep into the slots and we also want a nice deep impression to improve retention. Okay, so now at this point what you would do is have the patient open up wide line up the impression tray with the middle of their teeth and have them bite down and set the impression tray for the indicated time based on the instructions of the PVS material. All right, so once you've done that for the upper and the lower, you end up with an impression, not unlike this. And the next step in the process is you wanna trim up the PVS material off the impression tray and then we're going to remove the insert and then do a little more trimming. Okay, so the first step here is to take off the back edge material on the impression tray. And we're just going to kind of be careful and cut along the impression tray. One of the nice things about this is that you can use the tray as a cutting guide. So we just trim that up. The other part of the tray that you often have to trim is the front edge here okay in the sides and there's not a lot of material here so I just have to kind of run along here um, there we go we've got that you can see that comes off fairly easily all right and then uh, make sure that that's out there that's good that's there okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and pull the insert out of the impression tray and you do that by pulling the back edge out first okay so you can see it just kind of rolls out and you end up with an insert um, and then there's another section that I'm going to take off so you can see there's a deep line here and I'm going to cut along that line with a pair of curved scissors and it's there's actually a line to cut along so you actually literally just cut along the line and you just kind of go around the arch there cut that off and then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my regular pair of scissors and I'm going to cut up any, cut off any rough edges around here. And it looks like there's a little protrusion there. I'm going to just kind of clean this up and make sure the edges are all smooth. Make sure that my tabs are pronounced, and they are. So this is an insert. This happens to be an upper insert. You repeat the same exact steps for the lower. 
And what you end up with is a, is a lower insert and an upper insert, okay? So then these get placed into the therapy trays. And so let's talk about the therapy trays. Uh, there's a lower therapy tray and it has the stainless steel grate embedded in the base of the tray. And you'll notice there's two slots there and that's part of the adjustment mechanism. And you'll notice that the slots are such that it's gonna allow quite a bit of movement of the pin and that mandibular movement makes the appliance uh, pretty comfortable. So that's, that's a nice feature. So when you're inserting uh, or placing the insert in the tray, you put the front edge in first, you roll it in, okay? And then you start pushing from the back. And once you get close, it, it, it actually snaps. You'll feel it snap into position. So you, know, you can almost hear it. And we have our lower. Okay, so it has the insert, the tray, and we have our slots, very adjustable. And I repeat the steps for the upper. And let me tell you about the upper tray real quick. Again, it has a piece of hardware that actually you place in. Um, in the packing material, you'll notice that the steel plate here in the middle, um, you remove that and you snap it into the upper tray in one of two positions. Currently, the pin is in the anterior position. Let's see if I can get a good angle there. There we go. And the option is to put the, this pin in the posterior position so the pin would be closer to the end of my finger there. Um, once you snap the pin in, just rub your finger along the base of the tray to make sure that that's a smooth edge. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same exact steps with my upper insert. And I roll in the front edge in first. You snap it in. Actually, let me line it up a little better. There we go. And you snap it in. Okay, and you, you actually feel it snap in. Okay, so we've we have our upper and our lower trays, and the uh, what we end up with is a finished appliance. And I like handing my patients the assembled appliance, and you can see that there's a lot of movement there, and that allows for comfort. And one of the really important things about doing this type of therapy is making sure the patient's as comfortable as possible. So I give them the appliance, I make sure that I also give them a set of instructions, and I make an appointment or a phone appointment with them uh, for a few nights after they start using the appliance to make sure that one, they can tolerate the therapy, and two, after a few nights use, they should notice some improvement in their symptoms. Assuming that there is improvement in their symptoms, then you can make another appointment perform another sleep study on them to, to get objective evidence that their symptoms are actually improved. And once you've documented that the patient can tolerate the therapy, you can order an acrylic version by making another set of impressions. Uh, this set for the acrylic version, you do not need to trim. Fill out the prescription form with the impressions, send them into the dental lab that we have certified and uh, they'll fabricate an acrylic long-term version of the BRX Pro. Thank you.